Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up your Bibles, if you will. It's the light that will carry us through this old dark world. And there's no better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's Word. So pick up your Bible and turn with me over to the book of 2 Corinthians. Today I want us to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3. And I want us to look at verse number 18 as our text verse of Scripture. Get that good cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness, what better way to start a brand new day than a fresh cup of hot coffee? More important than that, getting into the Word of God. Well, friend, today I want to bring you the second in the series that I've titled, Change Can Come, It's Your Choice. Now, yesterday uh, we talked about the potential for change in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. And we talked about uh, it change can come when conversion comes, and it's received at the time of conversion. And uh, then we gave a practical observation that gives to us perspective. Now today I want us to continue this thought, and uh, I want to talk about the process of change. You know, whenever we begin to think about the process of change, and let's look at this verse together, verse 18. It says, uh, chapter 3, verse 18, But we all, with open face, behold, as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And, of course, I pray that God will add his blessings to the reading of his word. When we think about the process of change, my friend, salvation provides potential. Now, yesterday we talked about potential. Uh, it is a dramatic change, and it still uh, must come, and it must affect many. Uh, you can't change without God coming into your life. So salvation provides potential. It's a process, and it achieves reality. Now, let's think about the process for just a moment. In our text verse of Scripture, it says, with unveiled faces, in contrast to the Old Testament where things were seen less clearly. You see, we see the reflection of the glory of the Lord, and this is seen in the Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, He is the Word. Uh, the Word by nature. The Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And it goes on down about verse 14 of John chapter 1. and said, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So, you see, my friend, you and I, we've been able to see the reflection of the glory of God. And it's seen in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, by looking at that reflected glory, my friend, we are changed. And as we are changed, we become more like Him. We want to be like Him. We want to walk like Him. We want to talk like Him. Uh, we want to act like Him. The Bible said they were first called Christians at Antioch. And they were called Christians, my friend, because of they were acting like Christ. Boy, we could stand some more of that in our day. More people acting like Christ. So, uh, when we're changed, when salvation comes, we have a desire to become more like Jesus. Now, the change from the, from the glory of salvation uh, to the glory when we see Him is going to be magnificent. You see, we haven't fully arrived just yet. Now, I know somebody's probably looking at me real spiritual right now, like they've already arrived. He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. But one day, whenever I walk into His presence, the glory of His salvation will be uh, magnificent and fulfilled completely in my life. But until then, the Holy Spirit of God that dwells within me 
is the agent of his change. In other words, the changes that's made in me comes by the power of the Holy Spirit. So we can be and we are to be changed. There is a pattern for this change into what God wants us to be like. Now, this change takes place as we focus on him through his precious word. Friends, dust your Bible off if you haven't read it lately, and read it. You know, uh, I think it might have been Billy Graham who said this, but I'm not sure. But I did hear that one of the great old preachers of old made the statement that if every individual in this nation dusted their Bibles at the same time, we'd have the greatest dust storm in the history of the United States of America. Well, friend, that's a shame. How in the world can we be more like Jesus if we don't pick up our Bibles and read them and let the Word of God speak through the Bible into our lives? Friends, that Bible is our roadmap for living. Oh, I forgot, we're living in the GPS era. Not many people use roadmaps anymore. So that Bible is your GPS system to carry you through this life. I still like that old song, I'm using my Bible for a roadmap. And it is, it is the roadmap of life. It'll carry you through this life. So the change that's going to take place in you takes place as you focus on the Lord through his powerful and mighty word. How in the world can you know Jesus if you don't read his word? Now, this change involves a process. You know, some people think when they get saved by the grace of God that that's it. I'm through now. No, the process just begins. You've got to grow that faith. And uh, you grow that faith by getting into the Word of God and allowing the Holy Spirit of God to work His change in you. And friend, if you'll just yield yourself to Him, He'll do just that. Now tomorrow we're going to talk more about that, yielding yourself unto Him, the participation of the change. So I invite you to tune in tomorrow. But listen, if you haven't experienced the change, the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So call on his name today. Believe in your heart and uh, that God has raised him from the dead. And uh, trust him with your life. Trust your life into his care. And that change can begin. Think about that. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this powerful series of devotions that reminds us that change can come, but it's our choice. Help us choose wisely, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you today, my friend, and I pray that uh, change has come into your life and that God continues the process of that change as you grow your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, let others see Christ in you. Let others hear Christ in what you say and do. Your life can be the only Bible some will ever read. So let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.